Hey guys, Flo here and in this video we'll talk about how to late your sticky bones for animation. We will look at several options, from the cheap and easy setup to the more advanced studio lighting. There are of course an infinity of possibilities and various types of setups you could do. These are a few examples to help you to get started quickly. One note about background before we jump in. You don't want your background to be distracting the audience over the character you're animating. So try to go minimalist with it. Pick something that contrasts well with the sticky bones so the viewer can notice it better. Black in this case is perfect, especially when you start off and for just practicing animation because you can set it far enough from your character and not spend time on lighting your background. Focus rather your lighting on the character itself. You can also try the infinity white wall, which looks neat, but might require a little more time to light it properly. So when lighting a scene for a stop motion animation project, you have to be in control over the consistency of your lights in color and in intensity. That means taking care of a few things. First, don't let any daylight get in your shot. Lock out your windows. Second, Get some good stable lights. We recommend LEDs, especially when you are new to this, because they are pretty stable. Otherwise, you could get some flicker in your animation depending on the type of light that you're using. And if you are in doubt over the consistency of a light that you actually want to use, test it first. Set up a time lapse and see if there is any flicker over time. LEDs tend to come with a pretty cold color, so you can use gels or other types of colored semi-transparent sheet in front of your lights to get to the color you want. Good thing about LEDs is that they tend not to get too hot, so you could have less risk of burning your gels. Number three, secure your lights down. Glue them down on the floor or on your set. Use gaffer tapes to protect the floor if you need to, or add weight to your tripods if you cannot hot glue them down. Number four, Make sure that every time you take a frame, you put yourself in a place that doesn't alter the lighting on your shot. Don't cross any lights or cast any shadow and wear something dark that won't reflect the light. And number five, don't use battery powered lights because you don't want to be messing with them mid shots to change the battery. Now let's look at different setups you could do. For the easy and cheap setup, you could buy one of those lights for 12 bucks on Amazon. This is LED and you can get yourself a whiteboard as well, like a piece of foam core, for instance, and use that as a fill. So you have one key light and the fill bouncing off of the foam core. Better yet, you can get a second one of those to create the fill. Since it has three intensity modes, you can reduce the power for the fill. Or again, use the whiteboard to bounce your light off of that. And if you still have 12 bucks to spend on your lights, you can get a third one and point it to the back of the puppet to create a rim light that can help make your character pop out from the background, defining its shape better. And that is called three-point lighting. What I like about those lights is that they are pretty cheap. They also have a matte finish, which avoids reflections, and they have three intensity modes as well, which is super handy. To shoot the teaser, we use the slightly better, yet still affordable setup. We use the lighting kit that I had lying around my house, which I bought on Amazon a couple of years back for 60 bucks. The only thing we did as it came with incandescent lights was to change the light bulbs for LEDs. The kit comes with light stands and some deflecting umbrellas as well that we didn't even use this time around. We also had a desk lamp on our set that we use for part of the lighting. With this kit, you can use the same principle of three-point lighting as the previous example, but you have more flexibility of where to put your lights. And this is what we have now in our studio. Our lights are from Aperture, dimmable LED lights. We also got some C-stands and magic arms and built an over the set structure to clamp our lights on so we don't have a jungle of tripods and C-stands on the floor. I hope this helps putting your setup together. And on the next video, we'll talk about what cameras and what software to use for your animation. Have fun setting up and I'll see you on the next one.